I believe that due to language barrier, uh, I was able to pay a lot of money to some photographers there. Spoto, <sighs> 50 ringgit, discount, one photo. This is where culture shock started. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katrina the Traveler. I'm based here in Kenya. I do travel content and also content about Africa, how they do uh, their thing, mostly how they cook their food, the Agekoyo community, because for me, the Mogekoyo, wow, however, I need to confirm that. <laughs> When people saw me in Malaysia, most three Kenyans, they sent me messages asking me so many questions. How can they travel to Malaysia? How did they do it? All those questions. From the first time, uh, what I did, I, I booked a ticket to go to Malaysia. So I paid one month before my trip because uh, what I understand is way, way cheaper. When I was still in Kenya, I made sure that I had yellow fever because once you're in Malaysia, you're going to be asked for that card. Where is your yellow fever? And to prove that you have been injected. I also changed money from Kenya shillings to Regal here in Kenya. That was in um, Kemadi Street. Along that road, uh, there is a lot of bureau who deal with money exchange, so you can go there. And uh, I find it a challenge because I changed my money one week uh, to my travel and they couldn't find that money. They couldn't find Regal. So it took, a, for, it took a lot of time. I really moved from one, from one uh, bureau to the next. After that, three days to my travel, I made sure that I had filled the digital arrival card. You find it online and please be very, very careful because some people there, uh, they con people. You're not supposed to pay even a cent. So there's one uh, website that I was and they were charging me 5400 for me to fill that uh, arrival card. But what I came to understand is that you're not supposed to pay anything for Kenyans. Huh? Because for you to move from Kenya to Mauritius, it's visa free. You get actually your visa, your passport is being stamped on the, in the airport. So you don't need to pay anything. Two days to my travel, I made sure that I had packed everything. My passport was ready, my yero fever, the digital form I had filled. So you said to them, once you are there, uh, I had my money packed, my clothes, <laughs> my camera, my mic, because I was going there for content. I made sure that I have everything. That was two days to my travel. Now, on the day of traveling from Kenya to Mauritius to Kafika, JKIA. I was there two, two hours before. Uh, I checked in. Everything was very, very okay. I just had a medium suitcase, so it was easy. They didn't question me a lot because I could see some people who had more KG being told to see what to do because they couldn't travel with their bags. They check uh, your passport and uh, your ticket. Then once you're getting into the plane, you are given... Uh, and the process of checking in, you're given the boarding pass, so you're good. You're good to go. You are good to go. I'm telling you, I'm taking you the entire trip, how it went. So uh, from Kenya to Dubai, it took me, it took us five hours. Dubai airport is very, very cool and very silent and also very big. So make sure that you go there. Check I'm checking my bike. Check on the screen when is your next flight and go to that terminal. Terminal, terminal. Okay, go to that terminal. Because if you mess up, trust me, utaachua. Now, to Komarisha Sasa. Hi! Now we're in Malaysia. Guys, me one thing, I got shocked because... Uh, I thought people there, they communicate in English. Maybe I didn't do my research as I was supposed to do. Because there's someone I told, hello. I said hi to that guy. And he was like, just look at me and left. Uh -uh. People here, they don't, they don't say hi to each other. Or what is happening? Then I came to understand that these people, some of them, and actually most of them, English is not their... It's not their first language. So that was my first shock. Then um, in the airport, I was able to fight very cool men. I remember that guy asking me, have you gone to the health 
whatever office. So I told him yes. Then he asked me for my passport, asked me the reason as to why I'm there. Are you a student? Like a student? Thank God. When we were lining up to go to the custom officer, I could see a lot of people, mostly who are tourists, filling the digital form. So make sure that you fill that digital form two days before your arrival to Mauritius. This was Kwaradumpa Airport, that's where I landed. And it's such a big airport, also a very, very big airport, and also a silent one with very, very kind people. Let me tell you, I found a lot of people there being so kind. Mostly these, these young men, I remember tell, them telling me, welcome to Mauritius, and it was such a good being when i was uh, doing my research online i could see a lot of people saying that mauritian people are very kind people and to be honest yes mauritian people they are very 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 kind people when i was still in kenya i made sure that i had installed grab uh to use that up there because there they don't use uber or bolt hey now guys i requested for a grab driver and I thought it's like Kenya where they they make sure that once uh, you, you call them and tell them, give me some few minutes. There is nothing like that. They drop and move. So make sure that you know that. And I would uh, recommend you to look for a SIM card at the airport. Get a SIM card and get some bundles so that you can be able to use. Because once you're just at two seconds out of the airport, there's no internet. And that is the reason as to why so many Grab drivers came and left, like three of them. Because once I'm outside, I try to call them, but I don't have internet. I don't have a SIM card. I have nothing. So they could come, try to look for me uh, online and just left. So I was so lucky to have this kind man. So um, what happened is another guy, he was a student. He told me he was a, he's a student there. I don't know which, he was coming, I think, from... Australia or something. So he asked me, are you stranded? I told him yes. Uh, I, I told him my frustrations and then he was like, just look for in-drive. Uh, it's a bit uh, cheaper. And of course, as a tourist, you go for what is cheaper. Uh, so me, I I installed, I get back to the airport <laughs> and it's a very big airport. Uh, I tried to get, uh, I, I tried to get the in-drive, I installed that up. And now my miracle happened because this guy, uh, he came for me where I was studying, wondering whether uh, this guy will also come and go. He came for me and I'm really, really grateful. I can't remember his name, but of course uh, he subscribed to my channel. So I know he should be watching this vlog. Thank you so, so much. And may God bless you. So um, on the way, I could see how Marisha is beautiful. It's quite a distance from, uh, the airport is very, very huge. So it's quite a distance from the main entrance uh, to the exit all the way to the main road. It's quite, quite a very big distance. So I had booked a hotel when I was still here in Kenya uh, through booking.com. Okay, I don't know if you would like to book through them. So uh, I, I, I reserved, um, I had done my reservation. So the only thing that was supposed to be done is for me to go to the hotel. Now, uh, <laughs> address is very, very important. You know, in Kenya, to mezoya akale kakitu ka chugochuguria na hapo, uangadia kama ni hapo. There they deal with address. And that when the thing uh it me hit like wait, I'm in a second world country. Yes. They deal with address. So the address that I put in is where the guy took me. And that was it's the same, uh they have the same name, it's the same company, but they have two different hotels. So I uh, I went there, I tried to check in, then they were like, sorry, madam. They're very kind people. Sorry, madam, you're sorry. Uh this is not your hotel, your hotel is supposed to be I can't remember that place. It's supposed to be in another place, a very beautiful place. And I was like, oh my God, what should I do? So they told me, just book another grab and move to your hotel. It was such a beautiful hotel. I enjoyed everything. They give you water for free. Imagine they have dispenser displayed everywhere. There is elevator. And for them, uh, they have not elevator, but they have a lift. For them, what do they call it? Level. Yeah, they call it level. <laughs> Yeah, so it's level one, level two, level three, level four. I was at level 13, I guess. Uh, I was able to see how Marisha is beautiful. The best thing is that you can book food either from, not from them, because their cafe was already closed. They closed at 3, 3, 3 p.m. Mazim, kiku, you come at mimi, nikifunga shop at 3 p.m. Now, this is where culture shock 
started. I decided to take some grab and go to see the KL Tower, not the KL, to go and see the Twin Tower. Because anyone who wants to go to Marisha, that's the first thing that you want to go and see, the Twin Tower. So I believe that due to language barrier, uh, I was able to pay a lot of money to some photographers there. In a way, I was like, wait. And I saw a lot of people dropping comments on my comment section when I did that video about Twin Tower and all those people who are and the photographers and people were telling me those people are calm, those people are calm, those people are calm, they're taking more money from tourists, they're not even Mauritians, they're donations. And I was like, anyway, it was business. Uh, it's not, it wasn't their fault as such, but I don't think that you're supposed to take advantage of someone because he or she is a tourist, but they took a lot of money from me. And uh, <laughs> I don't know even what to say about those people. But anyway, I told them once, if you know you are calling me, just be aware that people will tell me on the comment section. And trust me not, a lot of people told me that they overcharged me. May God have mercy on them. This is how I was introduced to Marisha. Uh, I also got some SIM card and the person that I was with knew a little bit of English. So I was able to go to 7-Eleven and I got a SIM card and started with my phone and I had some bundles. Actually, by the time I was leaving Marisha, I still have those bundles. But right now I'm in Kenya, I cannot use them anymore. Another culture shock for me is the people that uh, you find on the way. Some of them... Uh, some of them, they, they, they don't understand what you want. I could try to ask some directions and uh, they don't understand. I went to a supermarket. I'll call it a mini market. And I tried to look for coffee. Hey, man, it was hard. It was hard for me to find coffee. It was hard for me to find sugar because they call it cooler there. For coffee, yes, it's written coffee. But uh, for sugar, it's cooler. So once you are planning to go to Malaysia, just do a lot of research just do a lot of research and even just know a little bit of their english and what shocked me is because Malaysia, they are malay people uh they are the Malaysian people now the 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 owners of, of that country and then there is chinese and there is indians i don't know if these three people have combined and they have the malay language let me know in the comment section well, I also went to a hotel where I got some food and uh, the only thing that I could do is to ask for the food that I know. I asked for rice and some and some what? And some beef. <sighs> then about money. For them, they, they, it's not, they, here in Kenya, we call money as uh, Kenya shillings. For them, it's regal. Then when, when they, tell, they tell you 12.50, they mean one regal and 50 cents. Okay, once they tell you 175, most of them they mean one regal and 75 cents. They are still using cents. So be aware of that. And I guess that was one of the major reasons why, why I paid those photographers a lot of money because they realized this girl is a tourist. She's not a student here. She has just arrived from African country. It's our time to get rich <laughs> in a way, but it's okay. I forgive them. They are good people. May God bless their business, whatever they are doing. But mostly, they, he, uh, may God give them the, the spirit of discernment that you're not supposed to do whatever they did to me. And anyway, Nisawa too. Nisawa too. Haina Shida. That is it about Marisha, the culture shock that I got. And I will keep doing this vlog more for any Kenyan who want to travel to Marisha. This is one of the safest country in Asia that you can travel to. I'm advocating that for free. Marishian government have not paid me even a cent. I wish they can. Those people are rich than us. So, if you're planning to go to Marisha, just plan yourself well. Go to Marisha, have fun. Make sure that you travel to so many places. Even the nightlife, the battle caves. Uh, there are so many, uh, the, the, the market. There's a certain market that I went to. There are so many places that you can visit. The Chinatown, taste their food, taste how they do their thing. Mostly, I would like you to enjoy the nightlife in Marisha. Oh, yes, <laughs> Let me tell you, I was asking someone there, when do you sleep? And funny enough, during the nightlife is when I met a lot of Africans. Everybody's welcome. Selamat datang ke Malaysia. What does that have to tell you?
in addition people are very rich people and they have kind heart and the best thing is that i was able to travel to two catholic church i'm a catholic so i was able to visit two catholic churches i met a priest we had a talk i met other christians it was such a good moment and i really enjoyed i have a lot of content about Mauritius and also after this i'll be dropping more about Mauritius. I wish you all the best as you plan to travel to Malaysia and please once you do come on the comment section and drop a comment. Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel, drop a like, comment and also share this vlog. I'll see you next time if there's anything that I have missed. Feel free to drop a comment on the comment section. God bless you. See you.